Perfect. Well, thanks again for taking the time to uh, to come and to virtually meet with me today, Sam, and uh, anyone else who's watching this. It's um, it's a pleasure to to speak with Texas Tech students. We've had a really strong relationship at Maynooth University with Texas Tech for quite some time, um, and I've uh, been lucky enough to visit Texas Tech in a couple of years, and I'm hoping as soon as the pandemic eases to, to get back out. So I suppose before we start, I'll just go back to this first slide, just to give a little bit of information, Maynooth University is one of the nine universities in Ireland, and we are the second oldest university in the country, dating back from 1795. So you can see here we have a version, our, our own version of Hogwarts on our campus, and we are just based outside of Dublin City. So we're the only town university in the country. Um, as I said, it's about 30 minutes from, from Dublin. Um, so really, in, in American terms, we're just like a suburb of Dublin City. There's direct train and bus links that, that bring you straight into the capital. But it's also then for students um, a nice Irish experience. There's about 13,000 people in the university and about 15,000 in the town itself. So the university is really a town within a town. So it's, it's quite a nice atmosphere. It's a, it's a typical Irish, um, I suppose, village that's grown into a town over the past maybe 10, 20 years. The university itself, as I said, is one of the nine key universities in the country. And it really, you know, when I'm talking about the type of academic disciplines that we offer, it we kind of offer everything except for medicine at the university. And we work quite closely with Texas Tech because we've got a lot of similarities in the area of STEM, particularly in engineering. So I know that's probably what you guys are, are most focused on today. So again, this will give you a better idea of the, the location of of Maynooth and of the campus. So Dublin City is on the, the right-hand side of the country in the, in the east, and we're just outside about 25 kilometers, 15 miles from, from Dublin. And if you aren't aware, Dublin is home to a huge number of multinational companies who have their European headquarters based in Ireland. So for example, we have Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, Apple, um, Intel is actually just five minutes from Maynooth, Hewlett Packard, lots and lots of, of, of really, really big companies and lots of smaller companies as well that have come and set up in Ireland. And some of our classes as well that you could take part of go and do field trips to some of those companies. So a little bit about Ireland. If you've never been to Ireland, if you've never really heard of Ireland, except for maybe some of the stereotypical things such as Guinness or Lucky Charms, there is a lot that you can discover. And for students particularly who may, might have never studied abroad before or who might have never you know, even left the US or Texas, it really is a nice soft landing for a study abroad experience. Why? Well, because we're, we're so well connected with the US. We are the only English speaking country in the Eurozone now. We have, <clears throat> We, I suppose we have a lot of similarities in terms of our culture um, and way of life, but also a lot of differences as well. So there's still a lot of things that you can learn and embrace. And it really is a different culture. Whilst there's similarities, it is a different culture that you can embrace for the six weeks during the summer, or if you're coming for a semester for the, for the four or five months. It's also quite affordable. So we have uh, direct links with the US. <clears throat> During the summer as well, pre-pandemic, there was direct links with Dallas, uh, Dallas to Dublin, and there's hopes that those flights will return again this summer. But if not, you know, it's only a five hour, six hour flight to, to New York. So, you know, it's, it's shorter to get from New York to Ireland than it is from New York to San Francisco. So it is quite, quite accessible in that sense. And it's also, it's just a fantastic country that's just hustling and bustling with, with culture, especially during the summer months, there's festivals, there's local town festivals, there's music concerts, there's sporting events. Uh, it just really is a, a, a fantastic opportunity to, to embrace all that's, all that's good about Ireland. And Maynooth then, so why Maynooth? Well, as I mentioned, we have been a center of excellence essentially in the, in the world of academia since 1795. So there's a long history there of, of delivering education. 
And we've also worked with Texas Tech University now, I think since maybe 2015, 2016, um, with, with this particular program. So there's a lot of trust built up there. There's a strong relationship. And we know exactly what Texas Tech students need while they're here. And I think there's, there's a great sense of comfort as well that the students get when they come. We also try and visit Texas Tech before students come to, to the summer program here as well to familiarize ourselves with the students. And we hope to maybe try and do that again, maybe this February. But there's a student first approach at the university. So everything that we do is orientated on the students. So unlike a lot of other summer programs that might be delivered by a provider or a third party, we're a university and we are experiencing delivering programs directly for students on our own campus. And it's something we take great pride in. So our international summer school is really something that we were very proud of. It's the most wide ranging summer school in, in Ireland. There's lots and lots of different classes that you can choose from. And there's 24 seven support as well from both staff coordinators. And there's a lot of support from the academic lectures as well. That's something that we were really proud of to try and make sure that the students feel supported the whole way. So with regards to the summer 2022 program, it will be a six week program that would start in the last two weeks of June and go right throughout the month of July. So you'd be in Ireland for those six full weeks. And for the first two weeks, you would take an intensive four day a week class of your engineering class. So if it's your software engineering or electronic engineering, and then from the start of July, you would take your second class. So you would go from taking your software or electro, electro, electronic engineering class twice a week and your second class on the other two days. And then you have a three day weekend to go on excursions, to travel around Ireland or to travel Europe as well. And there's about 200, maybe 250 other international students that are part of this program as well. Um, our Texas Tech students in the past have always really been the center of all activity and the heart of our program, and we hope that's the same as well. But they've always been really, really good at engaging with other students and making lifelong friends from people from right across the world. So there's great opportunities to meet new people, to get an international experience. And then we also have Minute students working on the program who will live with you on campus so you'll get a chance to meet with Irish students, meet with their friends and learn a little bit about our culture as well. Also other parts of the program, there's breakfast, a hot buffet breakfast included Monday to Friday, and then a hot lunch Monday to Thursday. Um, classes take place Monday to Thursday, as I said as well, normally from around nine to about 4.30. Um, and then in the evening, we have social activities um, and opportunities as well for you to, to explore and to interact with, with others. And the apartments are where students will live on campus. So you have your own apartment with about four others and you'll have your own bedroom. And there's two bathrooms per apartment. So it's quite different to maybe what you use in the US in terms of dorms, um, but it's, it's quite comfortable. And as you can see, <clears throat> it's also very secure as well. So we have on-campus security 24 seven. There's a reception there as well. And, you know, there's it, it's something that students really enjoy as part of our summer school, being able to have their own apartment and live with others. You can choose to live with um, Texas Tech students or if you wish, you can also live with, with other students as well. If you just let us know. So just a few pictures to give you a bit of a clear idea. This is our South Campus. So the university is broken into two about a two minute walk from each other, but our South Campus is where the original university was founded in 1795. There's a, a lovely cathedral in, in that campus as well. And you can see there on the bottom left, one of the oldest libraries in Ireland, the Russell Library, and where there's documents dating back hundreds of thousands of years. We actually found, we brought our group of Texas students there a few years ago, and we found an old map of Lubbock which was really, really cool. So we'll have to show you that. And then our North Campus is all modern, completely new buildings, um, really, really high tech and um, computer science um, building, which I think is the second newest building only opened about four or five years ago. Uh, and it really is kind of giving students the best of both worlds where you have that old historic element of the campus and then also the new, the high tech equipment particularly for, for engineering students. I know that's, that's very important. 
And as I said as well, the, the international experience the students get is, is really given equal importance by us as well as the academic experience. So we make sure that, you know, you get lots of opportunities to, to meet with new people, to engage. Maybe at the bottom here, you can see students uh, participating in an Irish Cayley dance. The right over here, you can see students practicing hurling, which is our own Irish sport. So there's lots of opportunities for you to engage extracurricularly as well as academically. And that's something we place a lot of importance on. And again, if you're not familiar with Ireland, there's a lot more to Ireland than Guinness and Lucky Charms. There is beautiful countryside. There's historic buildings, there's castles. There's actually a castle right outside the college gates. And um, so there's lots for you to explore. So I hope that this was a, a nice snippet of information to get you interested in Manoop. For more information, you can check out our websites or you can send us an email. Jody and myself are the main contacts for, for Texas. as we've worked with Ms. Wright and our colleagues for, for a good few years now. So we're happy to answer any questions, queries. And if you have any specific questions or would like me to go into more detail now, you can just let me know. Now, Ali, how was that? That was great. Um, I would also say that we, like the last summer that we sent students to Ireland in 2019, we had a lot of students there and they really enjoyed their summer experience. And I believe, was there like a king from Nigeria there when we were there? Yeah, um, <laughs> that was a bit crazy actually. Um, yes. I'll stop sharing my screen now. Okay. Um, yeah, though we had um, 